Hi TK friends, today we're gonna do a little bit of monster math. I'm gonna start off by reading you a book called Monster Math, and then we're gonna play a game together. So here we go, let's get started. Monster Math. Monster Math. One little monster is looking at you. There's a knock at the door. And now there are two. One, two. Three silly monsters can stand on their heads. One, two, three. Four bouncy monsters are jumping on beds. One, two, three, four. Five screaming monsters are chasing each other. One, two, three, four, five. Six wiggly monsters are posing for mother. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven starved monsters are licking the dishes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight blow out candles and make birthday wishes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine sticky monsters are washing their faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten speedy monsters run ten monster races. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The monsters keep coming and mothers lost count. Ten more make twenty a monstrous amount. Oh no, friends. Thirty loud monsters are dancing and singing. Now there are 40. The doorbell keeps ringing. Good grief. There are 50. That's really too many. Guess who is wishing she didn't see any. She shoes away 40. 10 monsters won't budge. Five wave goodbye. Five monsters make fudge. Another departs, meaning another goes bye-bye. Four monsters are leaping. One leaves the house. Three monsters are creeping. One, two, three. At last, two go home and the party is done. How many are left? Could there be only? One. The house is a wreck and the couch has been frosted. The food's been devoured and mother's exhausted. But one little monster is grateful and glad. It's the best birthday party that she's ever had. The end. 
Now, to go along with that book, I have a fun game for you to play called Monster Race. Now, you have two different Monster Race, but right now we're gonna start with the first one. And today, what I'm using for my counters are googly eyes, but you could use whatever you want for counters. You might have these at home. If not, that's okay. You could use anything you want. The way you play the game is you roll the dice, you count one, two, three, four. You find that number and you cover it up. Now you can make two copies of this board and play with a friend or you could play all by yourself. You roll one, two, three, four, five, six, and you cover that number. The first friend that covers up all the numbers wins the race. If you want to play that way, if you play by yourself, you win the race when you cover up all the numbers. Another idea you could do is you could roll the dice, count one, two, three, four, find the number and put that many in the box. One, two, three, four. You could fill that box with that many eyeballs or whatever counters you use. Okay, now, if you wanna take the challenge and go for some bigger numbers, you can make a copy of this game and play with a partner. This is the same game, but you need to use three dice, not two, because you won't have enough to cover up the numbers. Okay, so let me grab one more dice. A lot of counting, friends. So watch what you do. You roll the three dice. You count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you find that number and cover it up. Let's try one more. Roll the dice. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And you cover it up. Okay, the first one that covers up the whole board wins the game. Okay, friends, have fun playing a little bit of monster math today.